Alrighty, hopefully we've got everything going here. We can only hope. Try to get all our sound here. About where we want it to be. Okay, so how is everybody tonight? Uh, needless to say, work continues on the Badger dropship. Um, oh, let me get back here. Okay, so the engineering is pretty much done. Other than I think I just found a spot that I messed up on. So I'm going to need to uh, work on that for a second and figure out why I've got two pieces that I shouldn't have. I think basically what I've done is I've cut, I've trimmed something off and didn't realize that I trimmed it off when I was moving things around. The, what's really hard on this is um, let's see here. Get where we're got our chat going here. All right. Let's see. So here's basically what happens is I design the dropship in a, in a 3D program and get all, all of it, the engineering and where all the pieces go. Uh, unfortunately, that program does not, and most program they don't lend themselves well to getting things ready for laser <laughs> cutting. So basically, I have to explode the ship apart. I've got to get all the pieces flat. Uh, I've got to make sure that they're all um, facing in the right direction so that, because I can only um, put markings on one side. Um, it's, trying to put them on both sides and trying to get a line up is, is almost impossible. So I got to make sure everything's going in the right direction. So basically what right now I'm kind of organizing everything and getting it kind of where it needs to go. And the, the panels that um, are not uh, going to show anywhere that's all internal or something like that. Those are all going to get pushed uh, up here to the top because um, really nothing more needs to be done with them. The only thing that will happen is when I start setting up the files, um, because these pieces are in the inside and, and it really doesn't need to be a full piece, um, some of the small pieces, will, uh, I'll, I'll kind of cut a border and cut some of the small pieces out of that. Um, that way we're trying to condense it all down um, and, and get as small of an area as possible um, when we go to cutting it out because it just makes it cut faster. It, uses less material, and it's just everything is, is good. Because after I get all, all this stuff organized, um, it's going to start going on to sheets. And I, 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 of course, I get MDF in big boards, but uh, we, we've got to cut it down so that it fits in packaging. So that's where um, our basic page works out to, it's 9 by 12. So that will work out as, do, 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 do. let's see here. Uh, so our nine is gonna be times 25.4. All right, so we got 220, we're gonna say 228. We'll round down on this so that we make sure we fit. Okay, so we got uh, our nine inches is gonna be 228 millimeters and then our 12 8.4 equals is 
going to be 304. Okay, so our basic page, we're going to go here and change our page now um, to 304 by 228. All right. So that's got to be that's our that's our our worksheet. <laughs> so you can see there's going to be several of these um, that are going to be the the base, and this you know each one will have as much stuff as possible that I can fit on it, um, and, and then it'll be ever however thick it's going to be. So uh, hi guys, hi Elmer and Gimli, hi. Um, I'm still working on the Badger dropship. Um, I'm trying to get this thing done. I've, I've just kind of got laser focused on it, and um, I'm getting closer. Um, I did get the uh, uh, the one I was working on last week. Um, I did actually cut it out, so you can see it here to kind of test all my engineering and all my parts and everything like that so uh, after cutting this one out um, I figured that there's some better ways to do some things so uh, so I had to go back and redo some engineering and everything like that but I was actually surprised it actually went together first shot um, the only problems I had is I left off a couple of tabs and left out a couple of holes so that you know, uh, for fixing this thing, it was uh, for me. It was easy to fix it, but I've got to make it so that you know anybody can can get the kit. So we'll be able to put it together. It is huge um, because it's scale. It's scale to to the minis. So it's it's a it's actually it's about eighteen inches long. So. It's actually pretty close to uh, uh, the the broadsword. They actually, if you, if you, I put a picture up on Facebook, they they actually ended up being pretty close. So I thought that was kind of cool because um, that kind of kind of uh, proves the, the scaling is right <laughs> for the engineering because they came out about the same size. This one is a little boxier, um, so it'll have more room. I, I would say the broadsword probably could carry. Four Centurions um, at, at its max. I mean, you can obviously put a lot of little ones and vehicles and stuff in there. Uh, whereas this one, um, I think, could care could could be a good six Emperors could go in here. So, but that's just the way from the design. So, um, but I'm happy with it. I, like I said, this was the the initial one, and and. Uh, um, now it's time to detail it and, and get little pieces that need to go on the outside of it um, glued on. So now one of the things I've got to figure out is I ended up, let me bring this over here. So I can figure out what's going on. So what I've ended up with, I've got these two pieces here, and they're not plugged into anything. I think that those are parts of the top that some way got cut off. So I'm going to look here and see, and if that's the case, then I can fix it on the the other drawing. So we're going to go back, and we're going to we're going to show our everything. So here, this is the this is the the new version, the updated. Um, I put a little bigger landing gear on it and a little different style, so that I thought it looked a little better. Um, I put some some stuff in here to kind of kind of help a little bit with the boxiness. At lore wise, how much space is fuel as opposed to storage? You know, I uh, who knows in the grand scheme of things. Um, to me, the 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 drop ship here, the the Badger, the this is the the front 
Well, the, this is going to be the main ship part. So to me, this is all um, freight, whatever. It's going to have, it's got two bay doors. It's got one on each side here, and then it's got a ramp on the back. Um, so to me, you know, this is more of the cargo area, the storage and everything, whereas this is going to be the, the, the cab bays up front. Um, these are going to be your main engines are back here. Um, uh, for going forward, this is where these will these will go here. Uh, when these are these will be parts that go on the outside for the engines. Um, then it's got four thruster things on the bottom to help it uh, land. So uh, you know, um, to me, the crew quarters and everything's going to be up here around the cockpit area. Maybe goes off into the side a little bit. Um, so hopefully, I, my plan, uh, it was the same thing that we were talking about doing with the broadsword, is once we get these done, um, I'd love to go back and, and actually do an internal um, breakdown of everything. Yeah, pretty much the back section. I mean, all your these are going to be your, your engines all back here. So, you know, it's got... It's, uh, you know, every all that kind of stuff's going to be in here. Um, there's probably some feeds and stuff that go across the very top. Now, and in, in normal flight mode, uh, these here would close in. These, these go in and, and um, they just open up as far as for, for attacks. Uh, these are more naval style uh, missiles, larger size. So, I mean, these would be... Uh, if you're coming in and, you know, wanting to really lay the hurt down on a landing field before you, these would be the missiles that you would shoot. These would not be, you would not want to get hit by one of these if you were just a calf in the, in the wrong spot. Um, what I did do, though, is um, I went ahead and, and I made ends. Um, so there's, you can look here, there's a, an end um, for a missile. And then an exhaust uh, to let out whatever after it shoots out, whatever comes out of the back or whatever. Our naval miss missiles that even able to operate in atmosphere. <clears throat> yes, yeah, because they're they they're, they're basically naval because of the size. Uh, these are not something that you would normally carry, uh, you know, on on you know, on a land type combat or battle. So they're just a lot larger size, a lot larger warheads. Um, that you would that you would use, um, it could, they, but they would also they're they're anti ship as well. I mean, they can be launched in space versus other ships. Um, but my hope is I'm going to I'm either I'm going to do these one of two ways. I'm going to either uh, we can set them up and we can get them to print fast enough. Um, no, they're going to be, I mean, you know, we'll come up with whatever ends up being what makes them launch or whatever. But no, they're, they're able to, to launch um, in space or atmosphere. They're fueled. Um, so they'll, they'll do their thing. Um, but if I can get these where they'll print fast enough and we can get enough of them at time, because uh, these are just caps. They just fit inside the holes. Um, there's a, a pin on the back of them. And hopefully we can include those with the model. Um, if it works out that we can't, either because it just takes longer to do them or that you're going to be too expensive to the cost or whatever, um, I will put these up um, as uh, downloadable 3D files. And that way, if you have access to a 3D printer or something like that, you can, if you want to go ahead and print those out and, and actually include those in your ship, you can. So... So that's what we got going on here. So, and that's what's happened. These are these pieces. I was trying to figure out where the hell they've come from. And, and that's what they are. They, somehow or another, they have got clipped off of the top. So, all right. So these should be shift, shift, shift. Those should be booleaned on there. Let's 
So I'm gonna another of my uh, work boxes are over here. Okay, so uh, oh, somebody's driving down the road way too fast. Okay, so that puts those together. Oh no, no, please. Um, yes and no. Um, what I ended up doing with these is is like what I did with this one here is these come out, so they've got this kind of a little deal here or whatever. The problem is trying to mount them two different ways is going to be kind of tough for for me to, to make it work right without becoming super complicated and having another dozen pieces. So you as if if that's something that you want to do, um, you'll be able to, but you're going to have to, you're going to have to do a little engineering. So, and, and that's the same thing with the, um, uh, the doors. Um, those are just going to be pieces for the outside so that you can see where they're at. Uh, but you know, if you want to be, before you put everything together, if you want to, you know, cut, cut those doors out or something, um, I'm sure that we'll come up with some stuff because, I, I kind of tried to design the inside too, so that if you wanted to to come in and do some some different things with the interior later on, you know, it's one of those things that uh, you can just work on this forever. I mean, I can make this into a you know a fifty million piece kit, um, and I really don't want to do that. So, <laughs> so anyway, so that's where we're at on that. All right, so I need to go back and fix these pieces because these should be let me go back and make sure where those are at all right so they should be on the back side of the big part Okay, so these, do, 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 where'd they go? And uh, you're not asking too many questions. I, I love when you guys ask questions. It gives me something to talk about, so do not feel. Well, it, you know, and I thought about that too, is I thought about maybe coming back and doing, you know, maybe a, a later, an after kit or something, if you want to build an interior out or whatever, but... I mean, you can look here. Um, right now, this thing has got about 200 pieces, individual pieces. Um, and that's just a lot. That's a, a lot of pieces <laughs> for a model. But, I mean, it's a big model. So, you know, that's part of it, too. And, and uh, I think it took about nine square feet of MDF board to cut it the first time. Um, it should be a little bit less this time. I'm trying to get it down into the six or seven foot, so. <laughs> so the, the yin and yang of everything, that's how life goes. So, uh, you know, hopefully um, I'll be able to, to kind of get this all built into it. But I mean, now you're talking you know, I, I just in sheets, it's going to be, since I'm using 9 by 12s uh, for the pieces, I mean, it's probably going to be about an inch and a half thick. <laughs> Whoa, uh, so, so this here, these need to be added to this. Those should be there. They got knocked off somehow. All right, so we need, do, 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 do. we need to fix this. Okay, here. Yeah, I need to break that one apart. Break that one apart. Break it apart there. Delete that one. Please. 
Alright. And let's go ahead and do this side. So now these all go together and then we can come in here and connect our new lines. And then we're going to put those together and delete that one, put those together delete that one okay these are didn't get importing these into corel draw out of rhino it didn't necessarily always like that so we try to try to get them all back together All right, so that should get us to do, make sure we're all in, in nice, nice and straight. All right, so they're all lines. Okay, so that fixes those two pieces. All right, so now I need to figure out. So this this is kind of where I what I've done, and this is where I'm kind of working from right now. That's where my uh, uh, where I'm working from my. All right, so now I need to figure out. All right, so I've got the two tops. All right, that's these two pieces here. That's the two tops and that's the two bottoms for the front pods. Okay, so on the front of those, it should have this piece. Well, that yeah, may not be that piece. It looks too big. I bet it's this piece. Let me that. There, that looks better. Make sure I've got these all combined together so I don't drag them around and lose their dots or their the cut ends. I think that's what I did on the first one, and that's where I lost some of my. The other thing that I had to watch for is when I start putting the lines on these is to make sure that the lines go on the right pieces because everything's got an opposite for the different sizes but you want to make sure it's on the outside and not on the inside or you'll never see it okay so and then these are the corner pieces so they'll go there so that i know where those are at and then we've got our sides and I believe the big side goes to the, there's a, a big side and a small side, or top and bottom, I guess. So let's make sure we got these. Do, 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 do. Make sure all those are all combined into their appropriate grouping so they don't lose their Pieces. 
Okay. Uh, well, yeah, so there's a top and a bottom. All right, so that's what these are here. These are the other ones. Because they'll go... Then I'll figure out which one's which. One's which but... Right, and that's... These are the pieces that are not going to be... That don't have to have anything on them. And these are part of the... This is the... Let's see. Those are all part of the thruster pods. Those up there. Okay, so now we've got these panels. Which are the top and the bottoms for this. So that's that one. That one's smaller or the same? That's the same. So I'll do that there. Let's get these out of the way. Like so. But I, I, I was telling my wife earlier today that I was going to stick on this project till it was done. I keep getting sidetracked with other projects. And, okay, you got to get one done. So that's this one's going to go. should be a little bit I don't know maybe maybe they're not we'll go back and check against the measurements all right debauchery all of the above oh no those are the doors okay those are the bay doors All right, so that there. These are part of the thruster pods here. All right. I, I, yes, I'm trying to get the, now that I've got all the pieces, i got to kind of get them sorted into where they're supposed to be and which side is up and which side is down and <clears throat> so that I know which ones that I need to... Uh, put markings on so these should be the backs because I think it's got sorry I can't do everything on one page where everybody can see where I'm what I'm working on here what I'm looking at but it should have one, two, three, four. Why do I have so many of those? I should have two of them with holes. Okay. That's the front one. Then it's got two and two. I wonder if I ended up with extras, which is a very possibility because it should only have two more of these. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of figuring that out because I don't, I think I've got extras. Oops. 
So we're going to set these off to the side for now because those may be, I might have duplicated them when I was building files. That's a possibility. It seems like I have more of these than I should have. All right. So this piece, yeah, see, I've got another one of those that I shouldn't have to have. Oh, so much confusion. Story of my life. All right, these, let's see, control high, go, these are the um, supports for those corners. So those are, those just go there and are, are just inside pieces that you'll never see. All right. Where am I going at now? So that's what these are my, those are the bottom slopes for these. Uh, so those will go over there. So that's those pieces. All right. So this is the, this is the pile of shame. Still have to figure out where all of it goes. All right. All right, so these pieces, these are the backs. Let's see, those are the back sides of these engine pods. So that there and that one's there it needs to be this way okay that's those and then it's got two panels Pretty sure that's these here. These will be the the back sides of them. Yeah. Two there. It's got two smaller ones, which will be here. That looks like we got some missing pieces. Okay, edit. Let's edit undo, edit undo. Let's go take those back. Figure out why we're missing some pieces. Put those together and get those together. All right, now they should be not leaving anything behind. Okay. All right, and then, then we have the bottoms, which are these pieces. Oops. Sometimes when you're importing stuff, it, it just wants to do whatever it wants to do. It wants to do its own thing. All righty, ready. Alright, so that gets those. And then it's got we got the sides in there. Alright, so now we can figure out where the rest of these pieces are. And make hopefully because some of them may be duplicates. It's always a possibility. All right. Oh, these are going to be. Yeah, 
the pieces for the and the launchers. That's where a bunch of those go to. Alright, we're gonna put those over here for there. Because it'll have Okay, so it's going to have, it's got the big piece that goes in here. So this is the top All right, so those are our tops there. And they should have they're flat with two ends. All right, so there's our top. That's that piece there. All right, then it goes up into We've got the, uh, all right, so those are the wide ones. So those go next. I guess I need to put these here. That goes next there. Let me just move it over here. So I got them. So we can go in order. All right, that goes the wide one there. And then the next piece should be these here. Set that there. And then this piece. I promise you when you if you get this kit it will it'll all make sense we'll have there'll be nice instructions and everything will be numbered and arrows and well we got to get to that point that's that's the pain I'm, I'm taking care of that for you I'm I'm taking bite taking the bullet taking one for the team All right, and that's going to have next is this piece. Oh, no, yeah, that goes next after the narrow piece there. All right, do do do. That well, one goes there. All right, then we've got the back side, which is this guy so, put that there do, 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 do. I'm not quite sure why music that you're able to play all sounds like it comes from movies of ill repute <laughs> it's like, yeah, get down with your bad self. All right, these are going to be that piece there. Or no, no, take that back. Let's go there. All right. Do, 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 do. All right, so now I've got these pieces that I need to figure out where those go to. 
Oh, these are going to be... We've already got those panels in there. All right, we got this piece, which is the back side of these. So these are going to go... These go over here. That's the, the back sides of these here. That's that piece. Oh, and I bet there is a, what do you want to bet there's a bottom piece to this? Well, yes, there is. All right. So those go, those are the bottoms here. All right, now I just got to figure out what those pieces are. I don't think I've used them anywhere already, so I don't think they're extras. Oh, I bet that's the front pod for the front panels. What do you want to bet? some of this mess here so I can see inside there yes all right that's what those are those are the front pods that match up with those so those are gonna go up here all right All right, so anything that is going to be interior that needs no detail, we're going to change all those to, that's off the front. All right, so we're going to change those colors. Well, I guess I need to look here. All right. Now, and I have a little idea of, of the coloring here. I don't know. I think these are extra pieces. Because I can't imagine. Well, it's got one, two, three. Four. Nope. All right. Yeah, there's four pieces. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Huh. The fact that there's just one of them, and then there's these two, I, it leads me to believe that these are extras. Because the front pods should only have three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we're going to... We're going to make these purple for now and set over here because we don't know we don't know where they go to all right so that should have everything sorted out um these are gonna get no detail so they're okay and then I'll figure out where some of our deals. So now comes the fun part of putting our details in. So like off the original one, you know, they didn't put a whole lot of stuff on here. So the right now I, I'm worried, I'm just doing paneling lines and anything that actually needs to be cut into the uh, model um, as part of the laser, not things that will be added on to the top. So, like here, D 
these are the front tops <clears throat> and are supposed to have a kind of a grit or a, a intake look to them. Um, so we need to figure out how I want to do if I want to cut those in or how we want to do those. Now on the on this one here, this model was um, the the it was flat across here, and I put I made mine slope down. I just think it looked better and I just, I don't know, I just didn't like the flatness of it. Um, so, but it's got some grooves on the front too that I want to try to figure in. So, and the, but the things on the top take up pretty much all the space. So we want to go in here and let's figure out where we're going to put those in there. And we probably want to make the lines, the width of the, uh, here so those will fit in the middle you just wanted to make your life more difficult no it, it, it actually well i mean yeah i guess so i guess slope in the front added some pieces to it but it just i don't know i didn't like the flat noseness of it so the the badger is a, an original uh one of the early designs um and when the modeler that was working on it wasn't real didn't know how to do some things but anything anything that was curved <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to make up for that a little bit all right so let's go in here and we want to make let's see let's go in here and make this line here set my default for hairline okay all right so and we're gonna make our do, 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 do. is that gonna center on here comes on that one almost to the edge so we're gonna move this out a little bit more like so and then center it again all right so That should be three millimeters. Yeah. All right. So now we want to. It goes. Uh, Let's do, let's do, this is where it sucks not having plans already. <laughs> Some of this is going to have to get done on the, on the sly. Alright, so we want this, and we, we want this to... We want to repeat this a little bit, so minus three. All right, so we're going to go in here and... Go there. All right, now we want it to go up instead of down. So we're going to go here. OK. 
Okay. Then we put a line here to finish that off. Okay, so what will happen is once I set the particular collars or whatever to for the laser. So right now, if, if I was to upload this file the way that it is, um, red, anywhere that you see red would be a cut line. Um, anywhere that you see a black line is a inscribed line. So it, it'll burn it into the surface, but it won't burn it all the way through. And... So I was trying to decide if I want to cut that out and have that as an insert, but I don't, I don't know. Because they are put a piece on the top of it, because then it'll stick out, and you really want it to be kind of um, in a little bit. So I think we're going to leave it like it is for now. But this way, this will cut, this will all scribe into it and it'll be part of the um, part of the design. We're going to group those together. We're going to make a copy of it. We're going to bring it over here. Line it all up with this one. Okay, so that's how now. So that's how you'll see the see that go through there. So um, let's see if we want to. a border around that I think so we're gonna come over here we're gonna we're gonna kind of eyeball this a little bit Let's do this. We need we need to know what that distance is right there. Alright, so that is one point forty five forty nine. Alright, so to make that work out right. To bring our trusty then this is gonna be this is how this is how wide it is 47 and 41 33 wide and 126 and lots of two there okay so now let's bring our trusty calculator up and we want to take the 47 Point forty one thirty three, and we want to add. What did I just say was the? We want to add one point four five four nine equals, and we want to add that again for the other side. Oops. 1.4549. All right, so that's going to make our square 50.3231 wide. And then we want to do the length, which was 126. And we're going to add that whole 1.45 equals, and one more time. All right, 128.91.
Okay, now we can go in here and draw our square around and get a good border here. So we're gonna put a box. We just need that there for now. And we want it to be 50.3231. By 128.91. Enter. And that should let us center that around that box and get a good border all the way around it. Just like that. And then we're going to duplicate it and do the same thing over here around this one. Okay, but, and the reason I did that is because I wanted, I wanted to bring some panel lines in, and I don't want the panel lines to go right up against the groove, so, so we want to um, so we want to do, we want to do a line here somewhere. I do this one like so. And then we're going to center that on this box. Okay. We'll do another one over here. And I normally I would just make one and, and reverse it and go that way, but I just kind of showing you kind of an idea of how I when I've got one that I know that is a just a reverse. I'll just make one and then flip it over and do it that way. So, but I just was not thinking that far ahead right now. All right, so that way this one will end up being, that's where, where you'll see a panel line cutting it in. I'll carry that through the pieces that that adjust, adjust up to it. So, so that'll take care of the front uh, pods on the top. Um, I'll probably come in and do um, a line in here, a couple of lines to come across. I, I can't have any lines go in to where you see a notch come out because that's going to be um, the top of the piece that fits in there and I can only cut on one side so I want to make sure I don't have any line work uh, come up to the side of a notch because um, it, it just won't work out right so like we'll come over here and do you know we have a line here like so and then can come back over here and do one here But that way it'll go all the way up to the edge. And then if you have a piece that you want to run it down to, you can. So we're going to, I'm going to make you a box here just so that I have somewhere to measure. Whoops. Off of for a minute. Like so. And that way I can take these and just center them on there. And that way it'll come out where I want them to be nice and even. And get rid of that then we'll come back down here again and do do it here too all right and then we'll have those come down here and be even with that voila all right so that's what we're doing. Well, we have come to the end. Uh, I hopefully tomorrow we'll get a whole lot more of this done. Um, I'm hoping to have to cut a new one um, by the weekend with all the details and everything on it. Um, so I can spray some primer on it and see how it looks. And if everything goes together at that point, then we should have a finished kit. And it'll just be uh, doing the last minute stuff, work out pricing on it, um, things like that. So uh, stay tuned. We are, we are getting there. We're getting further and further.
but that's what we're at. Okay, anybody have any questions before I call it a night? I'm ready, I'm ready to get out of here and head home. I'm tired of the cold. So, stupid cold that came in all of a sudden. You guys too, everybody take care. I appreciate you being here tonight. Make sure to tune in tomorrow night, 8 o'clock Central Time. Uh, me and James will be on here. Uh, we'll be talking about something Cav related. Maybe come up with some new lore stuff or stuff like that. So, as always, if there's something you want us to talk about, you know, drop me an email, uh, cavboss at talon-games.com, or you can post it on the Facebook or something like that. Right, yes, that's all I'm doing right now is I'm just adding the vector details on there that will actually, I'm, I'm telling the laser where I want it to um, um, engrave the outside of it. So right now I'll do all the um, um, uh, things like that and any, any um, paneling lines and so forth that are on there. Then um, any other details that I want to add to the outside of it, um, I use, I've got one millimeter thick kind of a cardboard like stuff that those pieces will be cut out of um, that you'll glue on the tops of things um, like on uh, where the, the side doors are and things like that. Um, that's where you'll see that, that come into play. Um, Let's see, edit, Let me get back to visibility so you can see it all. So like like here, th these are the MDF parts of the board, but they will actually be cardboard pieces that go on here that define where the doors are um, and will help kind of cover up some of the, some of the, the uh, cuts where, where there's slope things coming together. There'll be some pieces that go on the front here. Um, the engines, um, I've still got to cut those out as far as how I want those to look back here. Those will all glue on. Um, I've got to add the thruster holes here um, for these parts. Uh, these actually I'm going to have cut out. So, uh, but that's just a matter of putting them in. It's just easier for me to to do the engineering uh, in Rhino and make sure I've got all my panels and everything matches up where it's supposed to match up. And then just take the flat pieces into Corel and actually draw the paneling there because it's just faster to draw 2D uh, lines and everything. So, anyway. But that's where that's where she's going. So, anyway. Well, guys, have a good night. Thanks for coming in. Um, I keep forgetting my things on my here in the front. So, I keep looking to the side. And uh, I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow night. Take care and be safe.